A spoonful of honey to cure a sore throat and not swimming after eating? All advice passed down from maybe your grandma, but are these remedies really helpful? Well, here to share the truth behind that old homegrown health advice. An apple a day cannot keep this doctor away. Alvarado's Dr. Larry Emder. So good to have you here today. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. It's funny because, you know, obviously these uh, grandma's, you know, words of wisdom came from somewhere and they do have value, a lot of them, and, and some of them really hold true still today. I mean, uh, absolutely. You know, there's something called observational uh, medicine, which has been handed down from generations to generations, for, uh, a lot of times from our grandparents. And uh, a lot of this information holds a lot of water and is uh, very useful. Well, let's talk about them. We'll, we'll break some of them down. Okay, so an apple a day, does that really keep the doctor away? Well, probably one apple is not going to do it, but uh, an apple is a very healthy food. Uh, it contains probably about seven grams of fiber, uh, and the fiber helps uh, lower your cholesterol. Uh, it also has soluble fibers, which kind of keeps the uh, moisture or water in the colon, which helps uh, with uh, uh, digestion and detoxification. So it's a very healthy food, a low glycemic index food, uh, and has a lot of vitamins in it. So I definitely give that a thumbs up. All right, we've heard before that ginger is good if you're kind of feeling nauseous, that you know seasickness kind of feeling. Does that really help? Uh, ginger has uh, been handed down from the Chinese culture and Indian culture, and they've used it for years for nausea and uh, motion sickness. Uh, modern day times, uh, on the Mythbusters, uh, they had a, a, one of their uh, gentlemen had a motion sickness, and they were looking at ginger with other um, medicinal uh, treatments, and the ginger actually worked best with the Is fewest side right? effects. Oh, I'm, I'm trying ginger next time I fly. Okay. Um, what about um, your grandma? Because you said that your grandma gave you some words of wisdom, too, that really uh, can hold strong still today. Well, I, you know, I had asthma as a child, and she always said the reason why I had asthma was I didn't chew my food. Uh, and she always said, chew your food like 22 times a mouthful. Uh, and the fact is, chewing your food is very healthy because it helps with the digestion. So uh, I would definitely give that a thumbs up. Uh, it helps you, uh, you know, absorb your nutrients. Uh, the other thing she used to do is take a, every night a hot bowl of water and take a lemon, squeeze it in it, and drink the, uh, the lemon water. You said people thought she was kind of cuckoo for yeah, doing that I, I thought back she then. Was, I thought she was crazy, but uh, in reality, it's a high uh, source of vitamin C. Uh, probably the lemon and water is, was a cathartic that helps with her bowel movements, and it's a, it was a very healthy thing to do. Okay, interestingly enough, my grandma used to say that if you had a sore throat, to gargle warm salt water. Salt water is great. It probably uh, in the uh, high concentrations uh, in the water, uh, it'll have an antiviral effect uh, on the viruses in your throat. It's also very soothing, and I've been doing it for the last week because I've had a little upper respiratory tract infection, so I'd give that a thumbs up, okay, too. Okay, awesome. All right, are now, our parents or grandparents, are they just being mean when they say kids got to wait 30 minutes and go in the pool, or is there really a method to that madness? Uh, well, there is. Uh, when, uh, after you eat, a uh, blood supply is shunted to your stomach to help uh, carry the nutrients away, which means that uh, there's less blood available for your muscles. So when you go swimming and you, after a heavy meal, uh, there may not be enough uh, blood going to the muscles, lactic acid could build up, and that's why you would kind of get uh, cramping. So I would say definitely uh, listen to your mother and grandmother and don't go in right after eating. Okay, not just meanies. All right. Also, lots of teenagers hear from their grandmas, oh, don't eat that chocolate, don't eat that peanut butter, you're going to break out. Is that a direct correlation? Uh, probably not. Uh, you know, the, the acne that they're worried about doesn't really come from the sugar. It comes from the buildup of bacteria and uh, some oils in the skin. So I think good uh, uh, skin washing techniques uh, would be the way to go. And you, know, you can enjoy your candy bar. All right, keep eating that dark chocolate. And one last thing, honey speeds healing. True or false? Uh, probably true. Uh, you know, the American Indians noticed that when bears would uh, go after the, uh, the honey, uh, they would be stung, but uh, they were able to do a little bit better. And it turns out that they started using the honey, the American Indians, on their wounds, and it has an antibacterial effect and a healing effect. So I'd give a thumbs up for honey. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, Dr. Larry Edmer from Alvarado Hospital, thanks so much for coming on Glad today to and uh, busting some of those myths and telling us the ones that are still true. Thanks so much. You got it. Have a great Tuesday.